Hello, hello. Welcome to our wonderful show. Yeah, yeah. Grandpa Panda will tell you stories. Yes, and Sun Wukong, our famous monkey king, might make some magic. Aha. Uh-huh. So welcome to Splendid China and Panda Bear Theater. Are you ready for a story, boys and girls? Yeah, yeah. Wait, where are Ting Ting and Shang Shang? They always want to hear your stories. Oh my goodness, yes. Where are my precious grandchildren? Ting Ting, Shang Shang, Shang Shang, Ting Ting. It's time for the magic of Sun Wu Kong. Ting Ting, Shang Shang, appear. Oh, I'm moving. Help! It's an earthquake. No earthquake, yeah, yeah. Just the magic of Sun Wu Kong. Look. Chong Chong, Ting Ting. How did we get here? It was just a little monkey magic. <laughs> Can you do more magic, Sun Wu Kong, to show our visitors? Of course, Chong Chong. I'll make us disappear. Watch. Show Feiji. Wait, wait. Be gone! I don't want to go. (laughs) (laughs) Little airplane band will fly back soon. Now, little ones, settle down, and I will tell you the ancient story of the pomegranate. Oh, good! Long, long ago, there were two brothers who lived in an old house at the edge of a village. An old ox was their only property. The younger brother loved the ox very much. One day, his brother said, "Young brother, you've grown up. It's time for us to live separately." The younger brother was very sad. "Young brother," said the older one, "we have only one ox. Why don't I take it?" The younger brother hated to give up the ox that he loved, but he thought. We can't cut the ox in two. I'll let my brother have it. So the elder brother and the ox went away, leaving the younger brother with only a gadfly. Gadfly. He grew very fond of this friendly gadfly. One day, the younger brother took his gadfly to his uncle's house. The uncle owned a big rooster, who took one look at the pretty gadfly and ate it. The boy. Burst into tears. Don't cry," said his aunt. "I'll give you the rooster. It was a beautiful rooster. The younger brother liked it very much. That winter, the cold north wind and heavy snow made the boy's old house fall down. He had to shelter himself and his rooster in the house of his neighbor, an old man. But the old man's yellow dog was hungry and ate the rooster. How the younger brother cried! The old man consoled him. Don't cry. I will give you my dog. So the boy returned home with the yellow dog. When it came time to plow and sow the fields, the younger brother was filled with anxiety. The yellow dog understood and said kindly, "You don't have an ox for plowing. I will help you." Well, the boy was so happy to know that the dog could speak and also plow. The dog could plow even faster than an ox. When the elder brother found out, he came and insisted on taking the dog to plow his field. But the yellow dog refused to plow the elder brother's field. The brother cursed and whipped the dog, forcing him to plow, until the exhausted yellow dog fell to the ground motionless. Oh, how the younger brother grieved! He made a grave for the dog, and planted a pomegranate tree on top. He visited the tree every day to water it. Loosen the soil and hold the weeds. The tree grew very fast and was soon laden with fruit. One day, a pomegranate fell to the ground. When the boy picked it up, 
it slowly split open and became heavier and heavier. When he put it on the ground, a miracle occurred. The pomegranate turned into a beautiful house. A house? The boy told the good news to his elder brother, saying, I would like to give the pomegranate to the homeless. Is that a good idea? What? said the brother. Why should we give the treasure to others? But he could not dissuade the younger brother. So he came up with a plan. Late that night, the elder brother went to the yellow dog's grave and picked all the pomegranates. He went home thinking, Ah, now I'll be a millionaire. He picked the biggest pomegranate of the lot. As it split open, a buzzing gadfly flew out, followed by more and more buzzing gadflies. They stung him and stung him until he cried out. This is an evil pomegranate, he said. Perhaps the beautiful house is in the second pomegranate. But instead of a beautiful house, a rooster jumped out. The rooster pecked the elder brother hard, then flew away. Grimacing with pain, the brother tried yet another pomegranate. This time, a yellow dog jumped out. The dog barked loudly, and the brother fainted from fear. When he recovered, not one pomegranate could be found. The elder brother had nothing. He should have been nice. Yes, Shang Shang. It is as Confucius say, what you do not wish for yourself. Do not do unto others. Can we sing a song now, please, Yeah, yeah? Of course. Xiao Fei Ji, Wei Dui, Little Airplane Band, come join us. Here we come. When you hear the animal sounds, will you please help us sing along? Thank you. Don't forget to sing the animal sounds. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Come again soon. Bye bye. bye. bye.